And welcome back, this is Baller Scooby with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. I'm joined as always by my trusty squad of Luke, Nova, Bro, and Gray. I have done quite a bit of leveling up as you can see here. HP, MP, all way up. Even for Gray and Bro, but we'll get over how that happened later. In terms of their actual stat, Luke has 62 strength, 99 spirit and agility with 115 attack and 105 defense. Nova has 113 attack, 105 defense, strength of 47, endurance of 60, but her intelligence is insanely high with 99. Bro is my beast attacker. He's got full strength, endurance of 82, attack of 190, defense of 97. And Gray is getting there. He's getting there. We got 61 strength, 65 endurance, 183 attack, and 85 defense. And of course, he is leveling up the swords. As you can see there, I've actually uh, ditched the ancient, uh, ancient sword for now. Uh, we might bring it back for boss fights, but just for these regular fights, I am going to avoid it. So we want to go to the east here. Do we have new enemies? Because there are still a few that I, we haven't seen or I haven't shown you guys. But nope, this is a great Marlboro, but this is a great time for me to show off how much leveling I have done. That's it. Th that's all it took. Two hits, it goes down. Yeah, you, you thought I was over level, didn't you? But no, no I was not. Do we have a new enemy here? Nope, salamanders. Let's head south here and we find ourselves a treasure chest. Wait, seriously? Okay, hold on, I need to drop some stuff then. I apologize, I thought I had done that before. We get a diamond mace in here, which is totally not worth it because I have no mace users. So let's head back west this time and down here. We do find another treasure chest. What do we got in here? In here we do find the Hellfire. Awesome. So let's head east. Now, I do have a new enemy to show you guys. We're not going to get a chance to see everything that this thing can do, but this is pretty much your status effect thing. And it, I killed it in one shot because they're simple, but they usually come in groups. And what typically happens is that they can cast uh, confuse or muddle on you. Uh, they can also cast amnesia. They can also cast oh geez, what else? Osmos and steal your MP, and that's actually how everybody got upgrade MP. So those were uh, the only thing I was excited to see when I was here. I was hoping they would steal my MP so that the MP could go up a lot faster. So let's head for this treasure chest over here, and we get a notice. Awesome. Remember that thing, don't you? Those cast Ice Storm uh, 16. So over here, we find Cat's Claws. Cat Claws, sorry. But there's a monster inside. What do we have this time? Something easy? Oh, it's a blue dragon. Okay, um, wow. Let's go ahead and cast Berserk. Since it's blue, I assume it's thunder. Yeah, weird. But whatever, cast poison because that's the counter to it. Holy crap! Maybe I should have cast shield. And maybe I should have gotten the, the ancient sword back on Gray so he could curse the thing. Even with Berserk, this thing does not do that much damage. Hopefully, poison is going to get some damage in 612. Not bad. Not bad. I will take 600 damage. Where's that poison? There it is. Thunderbolt 16! Uh, I think our magic defense is still pretty high. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Gray, okay, you're just not cutting it in terms of damage right now. But this poison should be enough to finish it off, I think. Another 500 damage, and down it goes. Nice. You get 10,000 gil, and the endurance increase, of course, because he got... He got clobbered there. So we got cat claws. Let's take a look at those. What are they technically? They are tri-bladed knuckles. They look it's a it's a dagger though, so I don't have any dagger users. Hold on though, while I do heal my party up a little bit. I was about to say just bro, but no. 
Nope, need a couple others as well. From here, let's head east, and I believe we will find our way down further into the dungeon. What do we have? Oh, just another one of these. Now, if I remember right, the stairs are up here somewhere? Yes, I believe that's right. Oh, fine. Get me a fight here. So let's go down these stairs. Oh, we got a little zigzag pattern here. Awesome. Now, I don't think I've shown these before. These are Maximuses. Um, I, once again, I don't believe any uh, creatures of this kind have any weakness in terms of uh, in terms of spells. So just go for the attacks on them. They go down. Well, they didn't go down easy until I leveled up, but now they go down pretty pretty damn easy. You have to run across here. Yeah, you get hurt in the waterfall. How that makes sense is beyond me. Maybe it's very cold. And of course, as soon as I try to cut it out, there's a frost lizard. Uh, I'm going to take out the Great Malboro first because it has a tendency to put status effects on me. So I want it to die immediately and then I can deal with whatever the frost lizard can do to me. But down it goes by the end of the first round as well. So there you go, frost lizard. Awesome. You know, we've seen a few of those kind already. I don't think I want to go in there. I don't think so. But I do want to go up there because I do see a treasure chest up there. And what do we have in this treasure chest up here? We don't know yet. Now can I find out what's in the treasure chest? We get a rune axe, but there's also a monster. What do you guys this time? Is it going to be another dragon? Something kind of... Oh, crap. Okay, it's a game behemoth. Let's go ahead and cast shield on everybody. Go for a flare, and then just regular attacks. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the behemoth from before, but... It is a pure physical attacker, and it doesn't have any any elemental re weaknesses, really, which is why I went for Flare. Uh, you get a decent amount of damage in. Um, you need to also go for it. Where is it? There it is. Blink. Hopefully that will land on everybody. Just keep going for the attacks. He's got a ton of HP, as you might expect from something named a behemoth. Really, dude? Is this... Really, the time to start missing. Flare goes down once again. Start getting some good damage in. Uh, let's just go for an attack. Uh, you can keep using Flare because you've got a ton of MP. And I don't really need to conserve yours as much as I need to conserve Luke's. Especially if this guy keeps him missing. And down he goes. Shield magic rose a level. Awesome. You get another Yoichi's bow, which is kind of useless to me. But what did we get in the treasure chest? Do you remember? It was a rune axe. Let's take a look at that thing. Compared to the venom axe. Oh man, that goes up by 19. Let's go ahead and put that on. It's actually going to be stronger than the thunder spear, which is why it goes on this right hand. He is right handed, isn't he? Yeah. Bro is right handed. So we need to go across here. You can't go down, even though I really, really want to. Let's keep going. Oh, looks like I can avoid this waterfall, though. But you don't want to, do you? You want to go up and through. And here is a hidden shop. Oh, and it has scrolls here. They've got Doom, Berserk, Haste, and Flare, in case you missed it. But this is not the time to be buying it. Please, please, please have those before you show up here. Just please. Oh, I think I want to go through the far right one. Yeah, there we go. Let's head down these stairs to basement number four. Okay, so let's head to the east first. I think I want to head north. Yeah, went a little bit too far there. You get a backstabber here, which is awesome. Kind of. And then we can head east here. Oh, we do see treasure chest over here with a Yoichi's bow. We already have two of them. But there's a monster inside. Is this going to be something we can handle? What do we have? Oh, it's a red dragon. Okay, so let's go ahead and cast Berserk on everybody first. And get some ice going. 
because... Uh, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Really? This is why you need the Berserk. And of course it missed the two people that I really wanted it to go on. Of course it does. How? How much damage? Oh, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and cast shield. Uh, you continue to cast. I right, see so you guys. Attack. Damn, this is not looking good. This guy is not going to be easy, is he? Come on, ice! Do your magic. Damn, seriously? Alright, let's try Berserk again. You continue to cast ice. You guys attack. Blaze 16. I don't think this did very much damage. It does a decent amount. Decent amount. Not too bad, though. Still missing... Bro. Huh. Which is kind of the guy that I really wanted the Berserk to go on. But... Is that enough? Down goes the red dragon. HP increase, yes. Endurance increase. But now it's time for me to heal everybody up, so I'll be right back. Now let's head west here. Because there is a door here that I wanted to go in. This one right here. And inside we find three treasure chests with a dragon mail and a, and a battle. What else do we find? We get an Aegis Shield and a Holy Lance. Now, is any of this worth it? Let's take a look. Aegis Shield and Dragon Mail. So, wait, what? Deflect special attacks. Awesome. And Dragon Mail is definitely better than the Diamond Mail. So, yeah. D defense against everything. Diamond Mail for you. Diamond Plate and Holy Lance upgrade. For you. What were you on before? The Thunder Spear. So up by 12. Nice. Definitely getting better. Definitely getting better. And no, unfortunately, no upgrades for, for Gray. Which is too bad. Too bad. Hold on. Alright, let's head to the east and then south. So let's head south, and there is the door we need to go through. But what will we find on the next basement? You'll have to find out next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. I've been Baller Scuba. This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. I've been joined by my trusty party of Luke, Nova, Bro, and Gray. When we continue next time, we'll go down to basement number 5. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.